Welcome back, ghouls and goblins. I hope you're having a magical day. Thank you so much for taking the time to support the channel. And if you don't chew Big Red, then fuck you. <laughs> Today, we'll be breaking down the newest Mythic Rank Standard Best of One deck with Phyrexia All Will Be One. That's, it's Big Red. You get it. We are playing with the Hellraiser Caprador, uh, going wild, free casting the uh, Singularity, which costs typically 10 mana from our grave for free to deal 10 damage. And hopefully, we're going to be copying that spell for an OTK of 20 damage in one shot, which is a lot of fun. So I'm excited to break down this deck for you within the video. We'll talk about the uh, deck lists, all of the strategies and synergies held within, demonstrating this within our Mythic Rank gameplay footage against not only the best decks in the world right now, but the best players as well. So no joke here for this build. And then we'll wrap up with our final thoughts, deck review, and our beloved pack opening. So big money, no whammies on that. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel to help support your favorite creator. And let's take a look at the deck list. Here we are, children, big red, building around the capricious Hellraiser, six mana, three red, three generics, and this spell will cost three generic less to cast if you have nine or more cards in your graveyard. It's a 4-4 with flying, and when it enters the battlefield, exile three cards at random from your graveyard, choose a non-creature, non-land from among them, and copy it. You may cast the copy without paying its mana cost. Ooh, ooh, right? So um, red has the ability to draw and discard really easily, right? So we're going to be putting the explosive singularity, which costs 10 mana at sorcery speed, in our graveyard. Just get that thing out of here. Um, as an additional cost to cast this spell, you may tap any number of untapped creatures you control. The spell will cost one less to cast for each creature tapped this way. We don't really care typically here. Uh, maybe late game we top deck it and it can just cast it though. Uh, explosive Singularity will deal 10 damage to any target. So nine times out of 10, you blast your opponent, but sometimes, and now this is a hard judgment decision, you may have to deal with a threat your opponent has if you don't quite have lethal in that exact swing. Oakley Dokley, and then like I said, we're going to be copying it with Twinferno for two instant speed. And when you cast your next instant or sorcery spell this turn, copy that spell and you may choose two new targets for the copy. Uh, and then target creature you control will gain double strike till the end of turn. So you get both modes here, which is pretty cool. Uh, the double strike can easily go on the dragon as well. And then we can power the dragon up and simultaneously discard with Mishra's command. Choose two... Uh, Target player may discard up to X cards and then draw that many cards. That's on us. This spell deals X damage to target creature. You know, getting not only to discard and draw, but also remove a creature from one card. That's really cool. Uh, this can also deal X damage to a target planeswalker, as well as giving your creature plus X and haste until the end of turn. So, um, you know, we can push our creature up and then give it double strike, potentially, uh, which is pretty cool. We can unlock haste uh on dare i say kiki jiki or just the dragon as well that's fine uh we will be copying the dragon on that note with not only kiki jiki but jaxus as well uh first and foremost we're gonna make a 2-2 goblin for three and when it attacks make a treasure ramping us then we'll discard up to two and then draw that many that's the main goal of the deck is to be discarding as much as you can and then finally exile uh and transform it into the reflections a 2-2 that we can pay one tapping it to create a copy of a non-legendary sacrificing at the beginning of the next end step uh so again copying our dragon it's going to re-trigger its enter the battlefield effect allowing us to free cast from the grizzave all righty then so we have uh some additional ways to discard here um first and foremost we're talking about kiki copying things so we should talk about jaxus and then jaxus actually discards within that function as well so Four mana, two, three, you can blitz it for two. Blitz comes in with haste, has to self-sacrifice at end step, but you do draw a card when it dies. And then we can pay one, tap it, discard a card, create a token that's a copy of another target creature you control. It gains haste, and when this creature dies, draw a card, sacrifice it at the beginning of the next end step. So that would re-trigger that Hellraiser ability. It would allow us to discard simultaneously, which is really quite nice. All right, so there's some other discards here as well. We have the big score for four instant speed as an additional cost to cast this spell. Discard a card. Draw two cards and make two treasures. It's beautiful. We have a cathartic pyre here as well. Instant speed for two. Choose one, either dealing three damage to target creature or planeswalker. 
or discard up to two cards and then draw that many cards, right? So that's really the main modality of the deck. And it's really cool how we have the command, how we have the pyre that double as removal is fantastic, right? So it makes it much more viable. We have hard removal through Brotherhood's End for three. Sorcery speed, choosing one, dealing three damage to each creature and Planeswalker. Destroying all artifacts with mana value three or less, uh, which is pretty cool there as well. And then finally, a few copies of the Arcane Bombardment for six. Uh, you can free cast this with the Hellraiser. It's a non-land, um, which is fantastic. Whenever you cast your first instant or sorcery spell, you sure an exile an instant or sorcery card at random from your graveyard. And then copy each card exiled with the Bombardment. And you may cast the, any number of copies without paying their mana cost. So if you do get lucky enough, this is going to be your first card that you get out with the Hellraiser. And then the Bombardment will take the Singularity and then you can just like slam it in multiple times, which is really a lot of fun. Take note that Twinferno not only can copy uh, the discard for double draw, really push you through your deck, um, but it can also double your damage output, right? Your removal, which is quite nice. Command is the best card to copy alongside Big Score because they have two modes. But at the end of the day, if you're taking lethal, the Singularity is going to get the job done. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So that's the deck. You guys are going to love this one. Pretty janky, but it, you know, it's a new set. The meta is not too solidified yet. I think the, uh, the exploration phase is still taking place, and uh, I'm just having fun with it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. You can become a YouTube member for access to our exclusive Sunday-only streams as well if you want to challenge me directly. Looking forward to this week's uh, battles, and I think we're actually going to make a land-based deck as well. So don't go anywhere after the gameplay footage. We're going to tear into the pack and talk about the deck a little bit more. Let's go. All right, our opponent goes first. I actually like this hand. I like to look for a pyre in opening hand. Pyre, Brotherhood's War, and three land. So we're just going to hit this Phoenix for one. Look for a land. Okay, just blasting us as Mono Red loves to do. We don't find the land. Ouch. Kimono down to 15. Goblin's going to get blasted, I'm fairly certain of. Reland. They want to play a creature to have this work out. Okay, that's actually... No, that's fine. I'm totally okay with this. Really nice discards. We get the fourth land. We hit, which is five. We have two Twin Infernos. So I'm going to end turn. Wait for this to transform. Because it's instant speed, right? And we can get an extra kill. Alright, well, she's going to plus. We'll just wait. Do you know what's great at dispelling darkness? A blazing inferno. Down to 11. They get one mana. You are lucky this is a Down to 10, they have another faces. Copy new targets. Three damage. Okay. That stops a lot of their damage for the turn. Yep. 
I'm just going for it. I think you're dead, Chandra. They have to deal 10 damage here. Big red meets little red. It's cute. Easy block for lethal. Good game. To land. We have an end. We have a command. Command can deal one damage. Throw on discard. To look for that third land. If we don't find it. There it is. It's beautiful. It's going to eat their removal. Maybe. Um, you know, smart player would leave it because it self-sacrifices. Some people are giddy, though. You know, they're like, I got to get rid of that. And still take two damage. Wow. I got, like, hiccups? Oh, man. Trying to twin Inferno or big score. Get some juicies in the grave for the Hellraiser. Mm, that's not bad. That's pretty good, actually. They're going to dunk on this. Here's another Kiki. The discard's really good, right? Toss Pyre and big score. Always throwing away as many things as we can every turn. Take our hit. Pass turn. Okay, that's good. And toss the land. Pyre can draw. For us, which we might want. Also discarding the singularity, which we might want. Let's see what we get. I would take a big score here, honestly. I'm free casting. Like, we have enough just to hold this at this point, you know? Holy landfall. <laughs> Goodbye, Kiki Jiki. All this removal. It's getting our, our boys. Alright, let's hit. Got mana. I'm a few. 
Patty's shotgun. That's a big hit. Thanks. <laughs> it's rewarding. It's a uh, 10 damage. That's that's fun. Good game. It's fun. Give me that free cast, baby. Do we get it? Six, seven, eight, we do. Let's copy it. What? Oh, we're one shy. Can we cast this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one shy. Yeah, my bad, my bad, my bad. Sad. I thought we were going to double that. Math. is It's too hard for me. Um, Our opponent's going first. I'm going to mulligan this. Keep six. Toss Jaxus. Build into our Kiki. Toss the Singularity. I imagine they just remove it. It feels like a removal deck. Oh. Saving me the trouble, I see. <laughs> we have lots of lands. We'd like to fill our grave. Are you kidding me? Wow, you're so cool, dude. Rick off Randy. Oh, you're quite the nuisance. <laughs> Not worth the effort. I mean, it's a all right, play. We're gonna need a lot more than just that, though. <laughs> Under Doogie, let's go! Hey, that's not funny. I need two more lands. Rude. I mean, it's cool, but... Not right now, I guess. Oh! Hey, it goes to the grave. You know, there's always an upside here. Soren. Cool, 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 cool. Can I get another white? Another fiddle white? Or actually, preferably lands, let's be honest. Well, I have to toss one. No good if we don't get a land. <laughs> and then next turn can be our sixth land. We'll play it, wipe the field, because it can only push to three, and we're going to get a Brother's Hood end. All right? Okay, cool. The Forge is nice. Thrawn is nice, too. These cards go together very well. This was on my top tens. Just throwing in the damage. Big money. We get the land. The sequencing was correct. Give us the end. Thank you. Get freaking wrecked. So we could go with the... Um, singularity there, but they have too much field um, status. So we have to deal with that or we're just dead. 
And we're still top decking, and they're in a world of value with the forges. Frustrating. Good game. And the forges hit for lethal. Alright, going first, keeping seven. Blitz on two for the third land. Maybe. I say go for it. They're going to fill up the field, so it's not going to be relevant later on. So let's just... Get it while we can. Not a land, but definitely a card. We need to avoid Lord stacking. Third land off the top, let's go. Big money, no whammies. Like a glove. Hmm. Um. Yep. One, two, three. Choose ourselves, choose them. Auto pay. One, two, this is such a good card. Just fill the grave. Those are kind of good cards to keep, but whatever. Oh no. card. Well, not quite. It's probably done the other shield. We're lucky enough to double end. And even a single end would be good, but... Takes them down a bit. And if they drop another, then we can deal with it. They probably just go for a draw, which is annoying. But this way we don't have to double down. Right, we can save it. Good start. We need some dragon power, though. We're out of juice. Big draws at this point. Oh, wow. We might have to go in full control here. Yeah, because I don't want to double the Twinferno. 
what I could on the stack. Get them? That's a nice top deck for us. I'm sure they have another Brutal Cathar. LOL. <laughs> That'd be a nice ETB to take back if we can top deck some removal. We'd get really lucky here though, right? No. They hit for uh, six, seven, eight. We're down to one. I guess that's not a soldier. We need, uh, I don't know. We can't kill the Moonrage. No, we're just dead. Good game. I mean, they had just gas, you know. Look at the land discrepancy, you know. We have nine lands to their one, two, three, four, five, six, which is three extra cards they were able to smash down with. Good game. We're doing our best. You know, it's a jank deck. What do we expect against, you know, the that soldier deck that's been tuned for two and three months straight? Alrighty then. Let's take a mulligan, I think. Nah. Screw it. We're on Team No Mollies. It's a jank deck, dude. Come on. It's a fun deck, though. I get as many jank decks are, I suppose. Like, casting a 10 mana spell. Hello. Hello. Good game. Good game. Ha 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 ha. Are they running the Esper Walker list? I like that deck. It's good. Are we running the brick list where we don't find our third land? Yep. Certainly are, Hugh. Certainly are. Hi, yo. One poison counter, please. Big money, big money, no whammies on the third land, don't brick! Ouch. This is not a good start. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. get rid of our singularity we want to do that anyways right can I get my fourth land maybe after your third dude all right let's pull those counter spells mm -hmm. mm, they continue to draw that's frustrating T-T-T-T-Fairy. You're cute. Minus two. Plus one, really. That's weird. We're continuing to break, which is crazy. Jace. Yes. I love the Planeswalkers with Proliferate. They're cool. Very cool. You can be made to obey. Still no land. That's ridiculous. We have to Twinferno the Brotherhood end.
just to blast these walkers off. It hits. That's 12 damage. <laughs> oh, woof. We do have hand advantage, maybe. If we can get a win here, that'd be pretty cool. Three poisons, not the end of the world yet, either. Instant speed when they tap out. Still getting the two cards to the grave regardless. Can I get an AO River? Oh, it lands flawlessly. Big money, big money. I'll take that big score. Oh yeah. Can I do this? No, we, uh, we were too slow on it. Because it's already resolving, it's not casting. We'll save it for when we get the uh, singularity, right? So let's go with that now. Copy the Hellraiser. Get the singularity. Big money, no whammies. Big money, no whammies. Oh well. We'll just grab double strike. I can't believe we whammied out on that. It's still there. We'll get it. We'll get there. We could have uh, potentially have a lethal there. Let's depopulate off the top for our opponent. Grab a singularity. Big money, no whammies. Hmm. Well, I hope that uh, next card you just top decked was good, because I'm not stopping. <laughs> LOL. Oh, that's spicy. Let me get the Kiki. I'll save this for next turn. I mean, to give haste and hit for four, or I guess five, doesn't matter too much. wonder what that card is. <clears throat> is it a Wandering Emperor? Again, we should have doubled this, I guess, maybe. But we can just Twinferno instead. For double strike. I guess they can't block anyways, right? It was. So they're probably still going to take the dragon. Now I get to sneak this double strike in. I am almost sad to see you go. 
Big hits. Okay, cycling for something better. What you got, Willis? Oh, must be something. Another Doomscar? Farewell. Wow, nice. I'm never done for good. Let your blade do the talk. You're a legend. <laughs> You're a legend. Oh my god. Just let me top deck a singularity, please. This is ridiculous. They have cards in hand to interact with us, which sucks at this point. Interesting. We have nothing in our graveyard, though, because of Farewell. Ha ha ha. What a cool card Farewell is. They're just going to poison me out. What a power struggle. This was a good match. I mean, pretty toxic with the emotes back and forth. I only started because they did. Okay? I want to get that clear. But <laughs> uh, regardless, you know, this was a cool match. Uh, really good back and forth by both players. All right? Good game, Oko. I'm not salty. I'm truly grateful for the match. Um, yeah, it's a great game. Poisoned yet again. Woof. What do you do? What do you do, chat? Still top, team, top 1500, you know, after a full day of playing, so. Going first with a slower hand than we would like. We will keep seven, however. And pray that they're an aggro deck. Kind of a slow aggro deck. One that plays all their creatures just on turn three. Are you there? One mountain. I know, quite threatening. Is this the person who was playing the game on their Game Boy Color? Did you guys see that? Someone was playing Magic Arena on their Game Boy Color. So whenever you come across a slow opponent, that's probably what they're doing. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I love the rope on turn one. Do you think the Game Boy Color version crashes lots? More so than the Blackberry variant? Good. Or they're just logging into my Twitch stream. To screen cheat. Uh, that would be rude. But you know. Clown's gonna clown. And then... This is their strategy. They're like, well, I rope my opponent, and then I play a rot priest, and then I rope them some more, and then they scoop. It's a winning strategy.
Lord have mercy. Hit for two. Toxic one. And... B-I-N-G-O. It's a nice way to deal with the priest without having to target it. We should have roped them before we did that. Before and after. <laughs> For, uh, you know, the utmost effect. A hive and a mite. All right, all right, all right. If we can get our fifth land, we attack, make a treasure, we can Twinferno our big score. Hmm. It's a lot of toxic here, dude. No attacks, though? And there's the land. Tossing both singularities. Oh, please and thank you. A bombardment. Oh my god. Becky, look at her butt. I was gonna twin the big score, but... How do you not? We can do that next turn on top of the bombardment. And bingo was his name oh. Bombardment was his name oh. In this uh, situation, I suppose. So that's uh, one, two, three, four poison here. It takes us to five. That's no joke. Big ouchies. Whenever you cast your first instant and sorcery spell each turn, exile an instant or sorcery card at random from your graveyard, then copy the exiled card. So I still need to do this. This is going to trigger the bombardment. Submit zero. It was not the card that I wanted. I guess we blast him. It's resolving in the wrong order. But maybe we get lucky. Discarding another bombardment. We get the four treasures, so we just need a, a field wipe here. We can cast it. There it is. Ayo, revert! Sorry, Kiki. We get to keep one treasure. They rem have their sentry remain. Uh, but that's okay, I think. You know? We just need to top deck an instant or sorcery card. Because we're still, you know, not out of the woods yet. It was a start. just that easy. It resolves in the correct fashion? Question mark? Holy Toledo's big red is big fun. An explosive singularity is a spell that, you know, shouldn't ever be played. I don't think, really. But the fact that you can free cast it and free cast it potentially multiple times is one of the most rewarding things you can do. Like, you know, lightning strike to the face for three cool, but how about 10 damage and then even potentially 20 damage to the choppers? Woof, right? Um, so let me know what you guys think of the deck. Uh, are there any cards I missed? Any additions that would fit with the build that we have, the draw, discard, free cast, you know, um, to make it stronger? Because it's not a bad deck. I mean, we've maintained top 1500, right? Uh, doing really well with it. So maybe we can make it a competitive build. I don't know. It's pretty janky, though. Let's be honest. Let's tear into the pack. Ao River. 
And um, what I find crazy is that they've reversed the order of these. So I can never get to... Oh, no. And then we've dropped them all on the floor. Wow. Wow. That is just great, HGD. Nice, dude. <laughs> well, I mean, there's an art card. I have an art card to show you. It's going to be pretty random, I think. Uh, I don't know if these will be in order. It is an Elish and Norn alt art card as well, which is pretty cool, if I'm being totally honest. And uh, I guess we will go this way. Here is a holographic Phyrexia land. Now that is hot. Wowzers. And then I guess we have a token card. You gotta get your token. It's a rebel. You're a rebel, Harry. The bone picker. The strider. Right? They're kind of in random order. Hazardous blast. Planar disruption. Viral spawning. Expand the sphere. Pro move. What you got, Willis? The Venomous Brutalizer. Alt art. Bladed Ambassador. I like this art style quite a bit. Big money, big money, no whammies. Oh, Remnant of Memnarch, 3 mana. This is a commander card, 2-2. Two, two. Legendary artifact creature, Mirror. When you cast a Mirror spell, create a 1-1 one, one colorless Mirror artifact creature token. At the beginning of combat on your turn, untap each Mirror you control. Woof. Pay 5, tap it. Put 3 plus 1 plus 1 counters on each Mirror you control only on your turn. Wowzers. Probably only worth like 30 cents, but a pretty cool card. And then big money, no whammies again. We get ourselves a Dark Slick Shores, which is actually pretty cool. I like the land quite a bit. And then finally, a holographic viral spawning. Not too shabby. We get a nice land. We get a holographic land uh, as well, the Phyrexia land. And then the, the commander card there, the, the Memnarch, which is exciting. Thank you so much for watching and opening this pack with me here today. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on your way out. Check out the other content as well. We've got new beginner decks out, uh, which is exciting, and more to come. We'll see you all soon in the next. Most importantly, have an absolute magical day. And uh, if you're a member, remember, today's Sunday. Well, not today's, but this week's Sunday stream. Don't miss out on that. It's going to be super duper exciting, and I'll see you all there. And also in the next. Bye-bye.